There also are quite a few illegal aliens coming in between the ports of entry who are extremely sick. Uh, one just last week, a uh, story recounted to me, a woman came over uh, just about unconscious from COVID. Uh, Border Patrol on an ATV and by horseback got her, called an ambulance, put her on the ambulance and shipped her to the hospital. There have been uh, many, many uh, Venezuelans, Cubans, Ecuadorans, non-Mexican, and also some Central Americans who also have come in uh, complaining of illnesses and Border Patrol is obligated under current policy to take them to a U.S. hospital. So they're getting- Yeah, I, I heard from our mutual friend, Carlos, who uh, was with us in January down in Guatemala, that uh, the caravans from down there have restarted. Now they dropped off tremendously in the first part of the COVID crisis, but there were still a pipeline of people that were backed up, if you're, it, it, I, I'm sure you'd agree, all the way down into Colombia. And th that pipeline of people was made up of Africans and Middle Easterners and all sorts of people that have been stuck for months that now uh, I'm, we're getting reports that they're just saying to heck with it. And they're, they're just starting to flee north again to the United States. Well, those people are gonna find uh, or should find obstructions at various borders between there and here. Uh, for one thing, you've got the Mexican National Guard, I believe are still in place and have turned back prior caravans, but also the Hondurans have uh, gotten sort of tough and the Guatemalans have gotten a little bit tough too. And I think they're just testing the perimeter, you know, uh, kind of probing uh, to, to, for weaknesses. And right. if they find one of the weaknesses, they'll be right up to the U.S. border. Most of those extra continentals, non-Mexicans, will probably be let in to the United States uh, under various uh, loopholes and, you know, spend some time in U.S. detention facilities. Before they get into the detention facilities, as part of their admittance, though, they're being tested for COVID. And uh, quite a few of them are testing positive, I'm told, by my ice sources. So, right. So that's obviously kind of wrecking the curve when it comes to the numbers that we're seeing in the United States. Uh, I know that the United States has been ex uh, uh, exporting, has been deporting uh, quite a few Guatemalans and Hondurans back to their home countries, and some of those have been COVID positive, which has not helped our relationships with those two countries. Do you think that that might cause Honduras and Guatemala to sort of look the other way when the those caravans kind of move on through? You know, the, the caravan movement and the movement of um, migrants generally, uh, the, the, the uh, obstruction of, the, of that movement is entirely to the whim of whatever president or political party happens to be in office at any given time there and also here. In the